is a Bramble Jam podcast. It's Friday, January 8th. I killed Panda. I take the day off. <laughs> Going, huh? <laughs> you're on it today. <laughs> you know, I know it's 5 a.m., but it's almost like you've already had lunch and you're already in the drearies. You know, I'm on my. I'm all, I'm Do you all, think uh, five hour energy is for you? <laughs> I, th- I think it's like, I'm always like, who needs five hours of energy? I think you, after lunch, yeah. from like 12.45 to 4, you need I, something. The, the problem, though, like, I am super productive if I don't have to open my mouth. <laughs> my mouth. But, but seeing as how I talk for a living, yeah. sometimes it's unavoidable. Yeah, say, saying what you just said mm-hmm. only, it doesn't alleviate no, anything. It doesn't. Be like, I'm really good unless I have to play basketball, said LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there are yeah. there are things I have to do that don't involve talking. Yes, yes. And I'm the best at those things now in the <laughs> afternoon. Uh, but in the rare... Mm condition this, this day, day and age. age and i know we said panda was going to be with us all week and you've gotten used to him uh since since panda? thursday he got so upset yeah at just what this was that he left <laughs> he was like i'm out of here i'm he couldn't, sorry he couldn't match it's, the energy he couldn't match the energy couldn't match it tired <laughs> tired to match the energy it is trace you know who doesn't have you a hard have time a, talking after uh, lunchtime? Who's that? Me. No, you don't have a hard time doing I that. I never have a hard time talking. You're big. You occasionally will get worried you're not matching energies. That's right. And you come in and just want to double check. Coming hot. And say, I can't, have I, am I matching the energy? Am I matching the energy? What do you say? It's a thing you say. What do you say? Energy match deck. <laughs> yeah. That's Hashtag what energy match check. I thought you said energy match deck. And no, like, check. 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 Energy match check. Energy match check. Hashtag. This show's so awesome. Uh, man, it's Friday. Friday. Can you believe it? Man, another day, um, another on. week. If Can you're you be- a Bramble Jam Plus member, you are listening to this Yo Gavel Gavel back to Bayside, all ad free. Can you believe it? I, 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 can life get better than no. that? I don't think it can. No. No, I don't think so. Stephen Curtis Chapman said there's got to be more to this life, and I, I don't think he was a Bramble Jam Plus member because I don't think there is. I thought that was Stacey O'Rico. Um, There's got to be more to life. But uh, Stevens, more to this life. Who, you think Stacey Rico ripped Living it off? Living and dying. Because those are the only two people that have yeah. ever said this guy. Stephen Curtis is a call. It's a throwback. That song may have been from the 80s. And then we got sw- Switchfoot. We yeah. were made to live. We were meant We were to meant. Live. Yeah. We were meant to live for so much more. I love hey, how you have went to we Stacey lost Arico. ourselves? Yeah, well, Stacey Arico is where you went. Bro. Yes, and I think well, I, you should be proud. I of that. think most people do. <laughs> if you haven't gone to Stacey, the Stacey, if you haven't gone to the Arico, Arico well, <laughs> in a while, you're not doing it right. Uh, Bramblejumpplus.com, I think is what you're getting yeah, at. Yeah, it's yeah, the best yeah. way That's to join that. Version, yeah. um, and when you sign up, you should get like a little welcome email that tells you all the things you need to know about how to add the things and uh, and get the, the the all the episodes ad free and all that good stuff. Yeah, in your sure. podcasting app. In the app. That's and you right. can watch this on YouTube, I guess, is how uh, some yeah, people yeah, yeah. choose the to, Jam YouTube channel. to consume it, which would make the intro better. It would make yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. The least. intro is just silent for people listening. Yes. It's it, not silent. It, it still has music. <laughs> you can't see the dancing. Yes. Though. Silent uh, visual. <laughs> so if you think about that. Yeah. Uh, hey, it's bubble bath day. Is everyone. it now? It's bubble bath day. Bubble bath day. Who knew? Are you a big bubble bather? I am not. I, ne- I never really was. When was the last time you bubble bathed? I was pro- younger than I can remember. Robert Ducky. You're the one. Who are you singing? That's not Bert or Ernie. Yeah. It's Rubber Ducky. It's no. <laughs> are you like a Muppet that got kicked off? Yeah. yeah. A Maxwell. <laughs> Maxwell Muppet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rubber Ducky. <laughs> I actually wrote that song. Bert Ernie took it. Those mother gooses. <laughs> mother goosers. Uh, I was taking a bubble bath last night to kind of get in the mood, yeah. to get in the mode. Uh, as I'm starting to think about this day, mood why we should take it off. Yeah. Um, I got, I, I drew myself a bath, as they say. <laughs> I drew, 
So pick out a pencil. No, I turn on the water, got some bubbles. Uh, I, 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 I went in there. I had my Bluetooth, uh, my, my headset Bluetooth yeah, headsets. Yeah, yeah. I was just, I was listening to some Stacey Rico. Yeah. Um, and it, it was like, connected to what? Your phone? Yeah. My phone. Yeah. I, I tuned Stacey Rico. Look it up. Come Spotify. On. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, I was listening to Stacey Rico and uh, a song faded out. It just faded out. It faded, you know, was it like it a was the end of the song. <laughs> it was the end of the song. Okay. And it was nothing for like 15 seconds. Wow. And then very quickly, I just heard. And I was like, what? Did you slow it down? Did you I slow slowed it, it down. Slowed it down? I slowed it down. Half speed. Half speed. And it said, Dan knows about bubble bath day. So full speed, it was. Yeah. And half speed, you could hear Dan knows about bubble bath. Well, it was like. <laughs> and you and got so it then, from there. Well, the, 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 the half, half, I did, I half the half. So quarter, quarter. Quarter speed. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I do. John Boy and Billy, in fact. Who? The radio uh, DJs, shock DJs, John Boy and Billy. Shock jock. You know the ones. Yes. Uh, always saying things to get themselves in trouble. Well, they used to have a reporter out in the field named Bath Boy Bonnie. And it was a guy, his name was Bath Boy Bonnie. And his whole bit was he would break into people's houses and he would just take a bath like a long bath, and he would be live on the air while he did it. And bath Boy Bonnie? Bath Boy Bonnie. And this was all fun and games until, obviously, he got caught breaking and entering and got, got arrested. Of course. Yeah, as you do, Bath Boy Bonnie was no more. Bath Boy Bonnie was behind bars. And, and at that point, John Boy and Billy thought, maybe we shouldn't have people being breaking into their houses to take baths. And so, in honor of Bath Boy Bonnie, they created, unofficially, National Bubble Bath Day. Back to you, Brant. Amazing. I yeah. love that. Um, I Yeah, I have no history yeah. other than, you know, I'm probably someone who just needed a chill. Bath Boy Bonnie. Yeah, Bath Boy Bonnie. I do have a quote, though, <laughs> from, uh, from Thomas Aquinas. Aquinas? Thomas Aquinas. Spell that. A-Q-I-U-I. U-I. Aquinas. N-A-S. Aquinas. Not Aquinas. Aquinas. Tom, Thomas Aquinas. Sir Thomas Aquinas. But but Thomas Aquinas, like, it kind of has a good run. <laughs> but that's not how it's spelled. <laughs> Thomas, he, you're saying he should have changed his name. I'm saying... Hi, Thomas Aquinas. You know how people can say, like, hey, my name is, uh, uh, like, Sean, uh, but it's spelled, uh, like, my middle name is S-H-A-W-N. Sean. But, like, what's the other way? Uh, S-H-A-U-N. Also Sean. No. But then there's S-H-O-N. Sean. So, like, all of those are, like, different spellings. <laughs> you think you're getting anywhere? Yeah, Thomas Aquinas said this. Sorrow could be alleviated by a good sleep, a bath, and a glass of wine. Do you agree with Thomas Aquinas? I am not a huge bath guy, nor am I a huge wine guy. Um, I am a good night's sleep guy, though. That's very important to me. I love the sleep. I love a good good mattress, good pillow. So I'm one one third on board. With have you course. ever um, have you ever done the the the, the ice bath uh, to you know get the joints back? The old Paul Paul Campbell or uh, is it Paul Campbell? No, uh, Paul, Paul Green. Paul Green. Paul Green. Uh, Not no. the ice uh, jump, but like you know after a big basketball game, they'll they'll go in the old I ice bath. I would put my I, I had uh, ankles that would roll and get sprained and stuff. I would put my ankles in an ice bath, like a bucket ice bath, but a full did ice you, bath. Did you did you try um no what? Did you try any ballet? I did not. That could have fixed it, I feel like. <laughs> uh no uh no ice bath needed. Well, uh, yeah. we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. Uh and we'll get to the question. What was the question? Uh the question today uh that we uh asked you yesterday uh for the answers is what elements are needed for the perfect bath? Ooh, I'm here for it. Uh, we'll see if Thomas Aquinas has any uh, <laughs> thoughts. And uh, we'll be right back here on Take the Day Off. That was quite the swig. Oh, boy. Quite the swig. Could you hear it? In the I could hear it. Wow. Yeah. Good. That's good audio. That's good audio. Yeah. Good ASMR. What is needed for the perfect bath brand? I want to know your bath routine. We've never really talked about it. <laughs> don't you don't you get it? We talk about it all the time. Um, I I love a uh, I love uh, listening to music. Yep. Um, I like uh, I, I like it if there's like some uh, some uh, Epsom salt. Epsom salt. Uh, what is it? Epsom. Epsom? Yes, not Epsom, like Theo Epstein. <laughs> like Epsom salt. Epsom salt. Epsom. Epsom there salt. There is no N in the word Epsom. <laughs> Epsom. 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 Yes. Epsom salt. No. <laughs> Last time I like some of that. I like, uh, I like um, bath bombs. You like a bath bomb? Give smells. Yeah. Um, 
big bath bomb. I like uh, some orange juice in the in the in bath? the bath. Really, some orange juice. Really interesting. And a compact disc. Do you uh, in the bath? You well, want a CD or just a CD on? CD on. Um, you know when I st- you know what I realized when what I started not liking baths. I'm six five, and the standard bathtub just is not big enough oh. for me. What a sight that and is it, to it, think it, about. It, <laughs> Just if you, you want just, to think about it, you just full straddle. Just full straddle. Yeah, I don't fit in a bath. Like, I'm time for bath time, baby. It doesn't literally. If I sit straight up, my legs take the entire length of the bathtub. Yeah, it's just not comfortable. It's a mess. You're like, a mess. A, a hot tub, like a giant hot tub. I love that, but a bath, unless you got a giant, the standard hot tub isn't comfortable for me. Like in like a one in a bathroom. I, I just I'm just. I don't too big. like a bath. I don't like a hot tub. Why is it germs? Um, no, it's just like, it makes me feel kind of gross. It makes me feel icky. Icky? Icky on the inside, yeah. What hot tubs are you going to? <laughs> just, a hot, uh, just the hot tub club down the street. <laughs> hot tub club. Hot tub are you club. just like hop in the fence of like Motel 6 outdoor pools? No, whenever, you know, tub? when you stay at a place and you, there's a, a tub, you can you can get, embark on it. Embark on it. Um, yeah. yeah. you do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not a huge, baths, baths are weird, huh? Yeah, yeah, they're weird. They're for children. I think. Are they gross? I kind of think they are. Uh, is there a study out there that tells us whether or not uh, whether or not baths are grosser than showers? They have to be. They have to be. They have to be. Hey, do you than um, uh, do you sit down when you shower? Never. Do you? Uh, I, I will say this. I used to, uh, when I was first working as an adult, and it was I'm not a morning person at all. This 5 a.m. is a testament to to how much I love this show. I would sit in the shower, like I would sit down in the shower and sleep in the shower. Yeah, my brother used to do that. He used to. Uh, so that's efficient. Fall, fall a lot, asleep. Of, lot yeah. of wasted water. Lots there. of wasted yeah. water. Um, do, do you? How do you uh, handle the, your legs as far as soap goes? I, I I have a thing that I put body wash on and I okay. scrub scrub. There's my a legs. big debate on on the uh, on the line, not on here, but on the line about whether or not soaping. Up here, and the soap going down your legs is a sufficient. No, I, I I don't let it. I, it's not a trickle down effect for okay. me. I I wash my whole body, stem to stern. <laughs> what elements are needed for a perfect bath? <laughs> Head to toe. What do you What do you want from me? No, you you said what you said. <laughs> stem to stern. <laughs> Lee says gold cro- go, gold, gold coins. Go, gold coins. <laughs> Gold coins a la Scrooge McDuck. I, I, the problem is, is that I feel really with it in the afternoon, but listening to you talk makes it's me just laugh. It's 5 a.m. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm saying if that, like, just you talking is tough for me sometimes. Uh, what elements are a perfect bath? A la uh, what Scrooge, Scrooge McDuck <laughs> is what you said. <laughs> Maduck. <laughs> Maduck. Maduck. Who you got, um, Dan? Stephanie McFalls is big as hell and, <laughs> and no kids. Uh, big as hell tub. Yeah, it's no kid. Yeah, a ba- perfect bath. You just <laughs> big bath. What what, what, what else elements? Would be big? What elements are needed for a perfect bath? Big as hell. <laughs> okay, bath needs to be big as hell. Okay, okay. No kids. Tub, tub. Um, uh, Aaron says good smelling bubble bath. A bath bomb. Uh huh. Candles or twinkle. Ooh, I love candles and twinkles. A uh, glass of wine. Uh, pass. Book. I n- I don't want to read, uh, but I do like things to listen to. So we're we're almost all on the same page. Jennifer, here. I think this is echoed a, a lot in this in these answers. Bubbles, wine, and at least two locked doors between the bathtub and any kids who might come up with a million questions to ask during bath time. I think yeah. it's so bold though to take a bath it's while your ve- kids are still awake. Very bold. It's very bold. Yeah, I think yeah, of it yeah. as a late night activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I wouldn't have the goal to say. Uh, children pipe down for a little bit. I'm going to go bath it up, but uh, all the power to you. Wow. Um, a Lulu says a tankless water heater. Yeah. So I could actually fill the tub with more than four inches of hot water. Amen. Amen. Well, then I, I will say this. It, clearly you have a hot water tank. You may need to go over and adjust, give it a few clicks, uh, clicks. get that water hotter because most hot water heaters, even with a tank can do more than four inches of hot water. I mean, boy, um, Shannon says, Hot, hot water. Dr. Teal's. You know what Dr. Teal's is? And yeah. So that's a type of Epsom, Epsom salt. Epsom salt. <laughs> How'd you say it that time? Epsom salt. Yeah, I think you said Epsom salt that time. Uh, and what else did she say? A great movie, podcast, or audiobook, dim light, 
nothing ruins a good bath like overhead lights. Wow. No, I agree with that. Are you are you in a bath long enough to watch a movie? Are you doing that bit? No. That sounds like a long no. bath to me. No. Yeah. Um, a jetted bathtub is essential for Chris, and I agree. I think yeah. the jets, which is the one part of the hot tub uh, when I go to the hot tub hot tub uh, hub, uh, that hot I really club. hot tub club yeah. hot tub hub is the name of the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's my fault. Yeah, the hot tub club hub. Yes, yeah. uh, the jets are essential. Of course they are for sure. Yeah, deep tub rainy cold day. If there's a fireplace in the bathroom, even whoa. better. Whoa, whoa, Angela, where have you been? Whoa. Where that is a thing. If you're not on the all access, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Just ding, 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 if you got a, if you got a, um, if you've ever taken a bath in a bathtub where the bathroom had a fireplace, you should be paying us money. That's, yeah. I think that's, that's at the very least. Isn't it? Fireplaces are so like, just interesting, aren't they? <laughs> right? No. Because they, no, they've been around forever. Yeah. That's how, it's how you used to stay warm. Yeah. And now it's like, you don't need that to stay warm, but if you have one, that's like, it's a vanity thing. Good on you. It's cool. Yeah. I, I stand by it. Man, we're finishing the week. I stand by it. Coming in hot. Uh, we did it, everybody. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey. Do you see anything else you wanted to get to? They're all so good. They're we'll all just, so good. We'll save it. Big, big, big bath boys is yeah. who we are. We're the big bath boys. Hey, we're going to take the weekend off Saturday, Sunday. Just, you know, enjoy As it. As we always enjoy do. It. We'll be back on Monday where we want to know what's the craziest storm you've ever been in. Craziest storm you've ever been in. I have an answer. Do you have an answer? I have, I have an answer, answer. as yeah, well. Sure. We're going to get to that. Uh, no Palaha coup today. Chris is still um, on his vanity tour of Wonder Woman 84. Um, so we will uh, hopefully get him back sooner rather than later. Um, and uh, maybe we'll talk to him about uh, our thoughts on that movie. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Um, but until then, we'll leave you. Uh, a tr uh, Trace, Trace has yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Trace has the haiku of the day. Um, and until then, uh, take, Merry Christmas. Take the day off. <laughs>